Despite the impressively fast progress that Tesla has made with their Optimus robot program, there are plenty who doubt Tesla will be able to deliver on their promises with Optimus, with one analyst even claiming that Optimus is really about 10 years behind in technology. Follow along as I discuss why this analyst is wrong and share new progress updates that Elon Musk recently revealed. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. It's hard to believe it, but in just three short years, Tesla has become a leader in humanoid robotics, a feat which very few, if any companies besides Tesla, could pull off. In addition, Tesla is a world leader when it comes to manufacturing complex items, which makes them uniquely qualified to mass manufacture a humanoid robot at a somewhat affordable price point. However, despite what Tesla has accomplished, there are of course still plenty of doubters, including Roth MKM analyst Craig Irwin, who is not impressed. Recently in this Quartz article, analyst Craig Irwin was quoted as really not being too enthusiastic about Tesla's robotics program, their Optimus program. In this article, it was written, quote, a sentient humanoid robot by 2025? I mean, come on. They tried to launch this product with a dancer inside of a robot suit, Roth MKM analyst Craig Irwin said on Yahoo Finance Monday. It's going to be hard for them to catch up to Boston Dynamics. What they've shown us is really state of the art for 2014. I'll get to the latest Optimus updates from Elon Musk shortly, but I want to address what the analysts said here about Optimus. And the reality of it is this statement seems pretty out of touch with reality. I did a search for the humanoid robots that were available in 2014 and they were quite cheesy. And Tesla's Optimus robot is so far ahead of 2014 robotics technology that it's really absurd to act like Tesla's technology is 10 years behind or state of the art for 2014. So obviously that's a pretty ridiculous statement, but in addition, I want to address what the analyst said here, quote, it's going to be hard for them to catch up to Boston Dynamics. Now it's important to note that Boston Dynamics, while they are very impressive with what they've been able to accomplish in the robotic space, they've been at this for over 30 years. Boston Dynamics was started clear back in 1992, and in 2004, that's when they were able to actually produce a robot, a quadruped robot that they actually took out of the lab and took into real world terrain. So it took Boston Dynamics around 12 years from the start of the company to a real world robot that they were testing out of the lab. In addition to that, it wasn't until 2013 that the company actually had a humanoid robot that they launched, their first generation Atlas humanoid robot, so it took them around 21 years from the start of the company to launch a humanoid robot. Since then, they have actually shipped commercialized robotic products, and they have since retired the original Atlas, which was powered by hydraulics, and they recently launched a new all-electric version of Atlas. As you can see in this video, the robot does have very fluid movements, and its head can swivel 360 degrees, and it does have the ability to walk pretty quickly. This does look like a very impressive robot, but when you look at its hands, its hands are not human-like in any regard. They really just have three big prong clamps. And while this is effective, and while this does work for certain commercial applications, this is not going to replace human dexterity for fine tasks that require the precision of a human hand. So while it took Boston Dynamics around 21 years from start of the company to launching their first humanoid robot, their first gen Atlas robot, and over 30 years from the start of the company to produce their fully electric, their newest generation of Atlas robot, in somewhere around three years, Tesla was able to go from idea to their second generation Optimus robot, which they have right now. And that particular robot is powered by Tesla designed electric actuators and the hands on the Optimus robot are very impressive and have really good dexterity, unlike any other robot on the market. Now with a robot like Atlas, it's clamp-like hands, 
Once again, they are useful for certain circumstances, but if you're trying to have a generalized robot that can replace humans in a lot of different tasks, including tasks that require very fine motor movements, hands that somewhat replicate the human hands are going to be necessary. And that appears like what Tesla is going to be able to replicate, especially as they move to their new generation of hands, which are going to have 22 degrees of freedom. As Dr. Jim Fan wrote on X.com, and this is something that I've covered in the past, Optimus hands are among the best five finger dexterous robot hands in the world. It's got tactile sensing, 11 degrees of freedom compared to many competitors with only six to seven degrees of freedom and robustness to withstand lots of object interactions without constant maintenance. So with 11 degrees of freedom, Optimus's hands were already leading the industry, but according to Elon Musk, Optimus's hands are moving to 22 degrees of freedom. And with these new hands, Optimus should be able to quote, play the piano. Elon Musk even predicted back in 2023 that Optimus would be able to thread a needle. This is unlike anything else that I've seen on the market. And of course, while Boston Dynamics, while their Atlas, their new Atlas robot looks very impressive, it's not going to be able to do things like this. So if you're looking for a robot that's going to be able to um, work around the home and do fine projects such as like folding clothes, things like that, the Atlas robot is not going to be able to do that. But Tesla's Optimus robot, if all goes well, should be able to do things like that. And in addition, with human-like hands, it should also be capable of working in factories as well. What Tesla is designing is quite impressive. Now, as I mentioned, what Tesla has done with Optimus in just really three years or so is really impressive. And they've shown the robot walking around an office relatively smoothly in a demo video. They've shown Optimus balancing while stretching, sorting blocks, sorting battery cells. They've also shown it picking up eggs without crushing those eggs. And with a teleoperator operating the robot during training, they showed that they are training the robot to fold clothes and also place basic items on a shelf. So Tesla is trying to train the robot to be able to do household tasks. And this is something that the Atlas robot at least in its current form with its current hands, will not be able to do something like that. So to say that Tesla is going to struggle to catch up with Boston Dynamics is really pretty short-sighted and ridiculous in my opinion, because Tesla has done so much once again in around three years, and it's taken Boston Dynamics over 30 years to get to the current fully electric Atlas robot, whereas Tesla was able to get where they are in around three years. That's really extremely different. And I believe that Tesla will very soon surpass Boston Dynamics when it comes to their humanoid robot. And even if it's only limited to certain tasks at first, they'll be able to really mass produce these robots and really produce them at a price that I believe no one else will be able to. And I'll talk more about that shortly. With that being said, I want to move to some Optimus updates that Elon Musk shared during Tesla's Q2 2024 investors conference call. First of all, Elon Musk once again brought up the fact that Optimus is actually performing tasks in their factory. And this is something that he also brought up during the annual shareholder meeting earlier this year when he mentioned, quote, so we have two Optimus robots in our Fremont factory that are doing basically this task, which is taking cells off the end of the line and placing them in a shipping container. And we actually have quite a few of these cruising around our offices in Palo Alto. In addition to that reminder, Elon Musk also mentioned, quote, and we expect to have Optimus production version one and limited production starting early next year. This will be for Tesla consumption, but we expect to have several thousand Optimus robots produced and doing useful things by the end of next year in the Tesla factories. And then in 2026, ramping up production quite a bit. And at that point, we'll be providing Optimus robots to outside customers. That will be a production version two of Optimus. Now, Elon Musk has a track record of being overly optimistic when it comes to his timelines for things like this, when it comes to like FSD, for example. And it's very possible that it'll take a little longer than this for Tesla to actually mass produce these robots and use um, thousands of them in their factories, several thousand Optimus robots in the Tesla factories. But nonetheless, it's exciting that he is really looking to push this timeline that quickly. But nonetheless, Tesla producing thousands of Optimus robots doesn't appear like it's that far into the future. And once again, this would be extremely impressive since Tesla has only been at this a few years. 
Now, in addition to the production update in that Q2 conference call, Elon Musk also answered a question about future Optimus accessories. And Elon Musk said, quote, Optimus is intended to be a generalized humanoid robot with a lot of intelligence. So it's kind of like saying what kind of accessories will be offered by the human. It's just the intent to be able to be backward compatible with human tasks. So it would use any accessories that a human would use. Now on that note, Elon Musk did give further details on this in the past annual shareholder meeting that happened earlier this year, when Elon Musk said about Optimus, quote, you'll just literally be able to talk to it and say, please do this task, or I'm going to show you something. Now do the thing that I'm showing you. Elon Musk also mentioned that Optimus would, quote, get to the point where it can watch a video of something like a person and then learn just by looking at that video and do that task. Now, when it comes to where Tesla will actually mass produce Optimus during Tesla's Q2 2024 conference call, Elon Musk said, quote, toward the end of next year for Optimus production version two, the high volume version of Optimus will be also produced here in Texas. So not only is Tesla going to build their next gen vehicle starting at Gigafactory Texas, but they're also going to build their Optimus robot there, the mass production version of that robot there as well. So that's definitely interesting to hear. And that's the first time that I heard the location where Tesla planned to mass produce this robot. During that Q2 conference call, Elon Musk also once again reiterated that the value of Optimus very well could exceed the rest of what Tesla is doing combined. In addition, when it comes to demand, not only should the Optimus robot be able to work in domestic situations, but also in industrial situations. And because of that, Elon Musk said, quote, so I suspect that the long term demand for general purpose humanoid robots is in excess of 20 billion units. When it comes to Tesla's unique advantage, Elon Musk added, and Tesla has the most advanced humanoid robot in the world and is also very good at manufacturing, which these other companies are not. And we've got a lot of experience with, we're the world leaders in real world AI. Now, once again, not only is Tesla designing Optimus to be able to work in industrial applications and also domestic applications, like say in a household, their robot should be able to be built at a somewhat reasonable price point because Tesla is designing Optimus to be able to be mass produced. And it looks like Elon Musk is aiming for it to actually cost less than a vehicle. At Tesla's annual stockholder meeting that was held earlier this year, Elon Musk on that topic said, quote, so in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost 10 or $20,000, you actually need to design for manufacturing and be very good at manufacturing. So with that being said, while the reality of the situation is it might take a little longer than Elon Musk's timeline for the Optimus robot to actually be commercialized and to be used in people's homes and in factories around the world. While it may take a little longer than Elon Musk's estimates, they appear to be making great progress and I believe they will get there. Do let me know in the comments section below what you think about Optimus versus what Boston Dynamics has been doing over the years. If you're an expert in AI and robotics, please feel free to email me. I love to chat with you about this and maybe we can even record something for the audience. So if you email me at john, J-O-N at cleanerwatt.com, again, john at cleanerwatt.com, J-O-N at cleanerwatt.com, I'd love to uh, really chat with you about Tesla versus Boston Dynamics. And if you're an expert in the robotic space, I would especially like to know your opinion on this. In addition, please let me know in the comments section below what you think about this as well. Will Tesla really be able to bring out a commercialized version of their humanoid robot as soon as Elon Musk estimates. Let me know in the comments section below. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.